okay if you don't want to. Rocky, Rocky, come here, boy. Come here, baby. Rocky, he's acting a little sus. Hi, baby. Why are you guys acting a little sus? It was fine. I don't know. Maybe he's just... Hey everyone. This is the kind of video that I wasn't planning to make, but, you know, apparently when it rains it pours because now Rocky is down and I'm just gonna share with you what I've been doing and call the vet. That was what she said to do. So now I guess we just wait. Well, let me show you what I've done with him and how he's looking because he's pretty pretty down at this point now to add to it Rocky has been a little bit off I think I have footage of him with yesterday he was kind of staying away from everyone going into the house when I was putting down the food that's not like him and today when I went in I noticed it again I don't really warm on a schedule and when they are with a famacha score pretty low then I use I have a couple of things that I can use one is injectable and then there's this other one and it's the goat care by is it Dorve um, it's a goat dewarmer and um, it really has been working for me for whatever kind of uh, worms Clara had last year. Now for Rocky size, he needs six ounces. So I've been slowly mixing in a little bit of, I have it down there, a little bit of pellets, alfalfa pellets so to encourage him. He did eat this morning but he's been on the stand for about five minutes and as you can see he's really slowly going through the pellets because I think he has no other option now I'm gonna try to show you his famacha score it's pretty bad honestly can't believe he was doing so great okay boy okay okay I'm not gonna stress him just trust me, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> um, but he wasn't showing any signs of anything and I don't dewarm my goats unless they really need it. So that way I feel like we don't create any kind of resistance to the medicine, which it happens in humans, it happens in every animal, you know. The more you consume those things, the more that you create a resistance to it. So today it's all about Rocky. I went to feed the boys and they were all excited in the morning. Uh, Dom was excited for his bottle. And you can see his way off. This is not normal Rocky. Yes, you're Rocky. You're very pretty. Such a cute boy. So I'm gonna give him the rest of the week you know, I'm going to evaluate day by day and try to see if something else needs to happen faster than that. Otherwise, he should start to feel better, you know, every day. And a week from today, he should be good to go. I'm going to add some of these. Let's see if I just hide it there. He'll try to find it. 
It's right here. Look. You have to eat it, boy. It doesn't taste bad or anything, but when they are sick, they're not hungry, so... I know. I know, sweet boy. I know. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, Rox. Mm-hmm. You're okay, sweet boy. We'll figure this out. And we need to cut those bad, deformed horns. <laughs> it's okay. Let's eat, okay? Let's eat so you can go back to the boys. He's not interested. I'm going to walk away. Sometimes when I walk away, he'll eat. It's going to take him a while to finish that. I'm wasting water. I've been told that when you do one, they need lots of clean water. It's not even so plan B. This is the status. I gave ivermectin to Rocky and I locked up Taz because I guess it's the pecking order and the struggle for power in a buck pen. But see Rocky's not feeling very well. And Duke is being super sweet. Like he's not fighting with him or anything. You know, that's his brother, that's his buddy. So he's just being super, super sweet. Our little guy, he's happy that nobody's in the hay feeder. <laughs> and every time I refill it, he's the one that has the greatest time. But Taz has been attacking Rocky because he looks like this, basically. And since he's been a bully, I've decided to give him hay, give him water, and give him a timeout. This is not going to be for the rest of the day, but again, it kind of makes it very, very clear that it's important enough to have a different pen for when one of your goats is down. Because Rocky, all he wants to do is either stand there or lay down. I'm hoping ivermectin is going to start working for him. He doesn't have anything but a really not great FAMACHA score. He, you know, he doesn't have a weird sound in his lungs or any foaming in the mouth or anything coming out of his nose. I think he just has a lot of uh, worms, you know, and he just needed a dewormer. It was kind of hard to give him the dewormer, even though he looks like this, because he um, he has like a lot of hair, and um, with his skin and everything, I kind of struggle. I'm not great at giving shots yet, so when I found the skin and I pinched him, you know, he didn't even feel it, but ivermectin is kind of thick, so it hurts. Uh, hopefully... He'll start to feel better soon, but I want to teach Taz a lesson that you don't do that. He's been extremely, extremely mean to Rocky, and it makes sense because Rocky always, you know, since he was the, the youngest, he always tried to put him in his place, but at this point I feel bad when one of them is feeling sick and the other one is just constantly picking up a fight and that's what Tess is doing. So he has food, he has water and he has straw to lay down if he wants to. He's really upset and I'm sure he'll be really loud if I leave him for a long period of time. But that's the way it is, you know, I went, hi, look who's starting to come around. Hello my sweetie. Hi! He's like, oh, I love this. Nobody's bullying me. And I can have food. Huh. Hi, down. So anyways, I really want to see some improvement by tonight in his appearance and in his demeanor because it's really scary and 
not okay when you see one of your animals being sick. Um, I feel like Duke has been the best brother. And, um, you know, I just refill the water to make sure that it helps for whatever warmer he was able to get from that other and plus the ivermectin um, so hopefully that combination is strong enough to help him feel better I just it just it just breaks my heart that he's feeling this sick um, but I'm trying my best Talk to the vet. She thinks that if his FAMACHA score is not great, then most definitely needs a dewormer. So that's exactly what I did. And all we can do now is wait for it to work. Again, he has no other symptoms. And tonight I am going to give him some vitamin B. And hopefully that will help his room and work. I haven't seen him chewing the cut or anything. So I'll take him out at night and give him a shot of vitamin B. Which I should have thought of. But I didn't think of it. Well, I had him on the stand. And you can see, I mean, Dom is just right behind him eating minerals. And he's not bothered. So I'm kind of sad but what I'm gonna try my best I'm gonna give him all the medicine that he needs and it's been getting all the pets and all the love he just needs to fight it you fight it you fight it Rocky okay you fight it love now, his momentia score is not horrible, it's probably a 3, which is not the worst. But I would have seen it sooner if I was here during the weekend that I was away. I think I would have seen it coming. But it's hard for other people doing chores to notice the things that you are able to notice as, a, as the owner. So at this point, with fresh food, green hay, he's still eating, haven't seen him drinking, um, but he's for the most part um, still doing okay, he's not down or it's just really, really lethargic and it's starting to worry me, but hopefully with all the medicine I gave him he will start to recover soon uh, some other neighbor was asking me you know are the other boys okay and stuff and they're just fine I just think that he uh, he always had a weaker immune system and he's the one that struggles the most with worms or he did when he was younger so right now I just hope that he's strong enough to with the medicine start to feel better soon but that is it for today I'm gonna stick around and I want to make sure that he's chewing the cud before I leave and um, otherwise if I don't see that happening instead of doing the vitamin B tonight I'll do it oh, right now. he's chewing the cud oh. he's also yawning but he is chewing the card. I don't want to leave you in that cliffhanger. <laughs> Today is Monday and things are not looking any better, as you can see. Um, I am starting a different treatment. I've started. It's a recommendation of a friend and a vet and uh, I don't I don't think it's working very well and uh, honestly I'd be surprised if he makes it through the night.